In this video we're going to look at how to edit an atlas map, including how to make use of the shaded base map that we created in the previous video. For this demonstration we're using maps of butterflies in Vice County 11, which is South Hampshire. When you open up a species atlas map, you'll remember that to change species you click on the drop down arrow to open up the feature list, which in this case contains just the list of species. So if we select our species from the list, it goes to that species. If you remember, when we opened the feature list for our base map, there were quite a lot of other things showing in the list, such as the grid lines and the numbers around the edge and all the different parts that make up the map. And they don't appear to be showing in the feature list for the atlas. That's because in an atlas map, MapMate requires you to take an extra step to make the map fully editable. And to do that, you go to the View menu and click on Show Feature Detail. Once you've done that, when you go to open up your feature list, you'll see that all the other columns have reappeared that allow you to change things like sizes and colours. And there are also some extra things in the list, as well as the straightforward list of species names. To turn that extra detail off, you can go back into the View Show Feature Detail and click it off. There's also a shortcut way of getting the feature details showing, and that's to use this purple tick. When it's pale purple, the feature details are not showing. If you click on it and make it dark purple, the feature details are showing. So we'll leave that turned on for the moment so that we can see all the things in here. The next thing to look at are the different types of feature that are showing in this list. And one way of making that a bit clearer is to click on the column heading where it says type. If you do a single click on there, it puts it into order. It's not actually into alphabetical order, but it does just group all the similar types of feature together. So here we can see we've got a base map. We've got quite a lot of data subjects. And at the other end of the list, we've got the map's title and a data object. And if you click again on the type heading, it just reverses the sort order so the data object is at the top, etc. I'll go back to the first sorting with the map at the top. And again, just to demonstrate, you can actually turn the base map off so that you're left with a map that only has the dots on it but no background. But it's easy to tick that back on again and the map reappears. Similarly, if we sort the type column the other way around so that our data object is at the top, we can turn that off. And we're now left with what looks like just the base map and no dots over it. But if we turn it back on, the dots reappear. The data subjects are just all the different species names that are in the atlas you're looking at. The data object is the thing that actually draws the dots onto the map. So if you want to change anything about your dots, that it's the data object that you have to edit. So for instance, if we go over to the style column and right click, instead of having a dot, we can have a diamond shape. And if we go over to the color column and right click, go on to line color, we can make our dots blue instead of black. So that's some quite simple editing that you can do of an existing Atlas map by turning on the feature details, finding the type of feature it is that you need to change, and then right-clicking over the relevant column to change the details. Now, one thing that I want to do with this species Atlas is to change the base map that's showing here so that I can use the one that we created in the previous video with the shaded polygons. And to make that work, the first thing I'm going to do is add that base map to the Atlas map. And to do that, I go to Edit, Insert, Another Map. And this sh it shows the maps that have been created on this copy of MapMate, or you can get it to show all the maps, including all the system supplied ones. But if we stick with the ones that we've created, and the one we want to use is the base map shaded. And I can insert that and it appears in the atlas. Now, as usual, when you insert something onto a map, it's drawn it in the top layer so that all the dots are hidden behind this map at the moment. So if we go back into our feature detail, and I'm going to click on the type column to put the maps at the top of the column. And here is our base map shaded. It's currently at order number two. So we right click on there and send it to the back. 
and the dots are now over the top of the map again. At the moment, of course, we've got both versions of the base map still held within our atlas, which means that we can turn off the um, one that we started with, the simple base map, or we can turn that back on and turn off the shaded map, which means that at any moment you can choose which base map you wish to use. Alternatively, you might decide that it's actually the shaded map you want in your atlas and that you don't need the other base map at all, in which case you can right click on its name and delete and it will remove that base map from the atlas, leaving you with the map, the map that you've just added in. So those are some fairly straightforward edits that you can make to a uh, species atlas map. I'm going to turn off my feature detail and go back to a normal atlas map where you can just choose whichever species you wish to look at. And there it is with the dots showing over the top of my shaded background map.